You can start. I'm just taking my shoes off. <laughs> so I, I finished reading Another Country by James Baldwin yesterday. And I just wanted to maybe share my my thoughts after reading since I, I shared like from halfway through and there are some like kind of realizations that come in the end and I almost feel like maybe they were surprising to me because I'm even somewhat like privileged or mm -hmm. just naive or something um, I mean, yeah, we are privileged. <laughs> yeah, it was so it was so powerful. It was a heavy reading. Um, it was not so easy to like go and perform because we're back to performing now. Yeah, we're yeah at work. Um, I was telling a friend that it was kind of hard to like um, let go of what I had read and like go enjoy my body wow. and like um i mean i think that's also like the token of like a great writer is like it's sticking with you like yes. you're carrying it through your day it's maybe even sometimes interfering with like the rest of the things that you need to do in your life yes <laughs> it's not something you read you close the book and like you just forget about it yeah it's like not if you're looking for like some like a dose of like escapism or something, then it's it's definitely not that. There was a a moment Ben was trying to to film me reading, and I was like, no, 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 yes. I can't be distracted right now. Yeah, I like just pulled out the camera. Also, because I think it's. I mean, I'm reading in English. You're reading in Hebrew. Yeah. So I thought it was like nice to show also like a book in Hebrew, and so I like pull out my camera and I see him like, no. Just like, don't do it, like, I'm in the middle of the end, like, don't even think about it. Yeah, there are such, like, strong moments in the book that I felt like I needed to give a full attention to. Small thing that I thought was really interesting about the book and, like, would maybe be nice if you are reading it, with it and I wish I would have done, like, throughout reading it, is, like, there are lots of music references. Um, like different blues songs that are playing in the background of certain scenes or or then classical music but mostly blues and jazz um and and only in the end i was like putting on earphones and like playing what was being uh what was in the book and it was really really special it's kind of like you're in a movie but it's it's a book also like it kind of there was also a scene in like a museum and he speaks about the art around the scene which I think is like it's kind of nice how he blends different worlds art and life and, mm. and experience yeah it sounds like a fully like immersive situation to be reading in yes like you see you know what you're seeing and what you're hearing hearing there are like let's say like two characters at least that kind of surprise me in terms of their like sexual orientation and in a sense of like fluidity um especially within especially, the time period especially, yes and given the time period um mostly men by the way less the the female character um and i was thinking like for a second I was like, were they, like, are they, like, more flexible than I am in, like, 2021 when I think of myself as, like, gay and I'm, like, kind of used to the idea of being attracted to, to men and, and it was kind of, it was tricky because I felt like it half stemmed from them not considering homosexuality sometimes is like an actual possibility of mm. a lifestyle of something mm. to to fully to settle down with a man mm. however some of them are like straight and maybe but maybe have a room in them for like a sexual experience with a man you I felt there was like a freedom that you feel is Maybe like, sometimes we're lacking. We're today. lacking even as society moves forward. Yes, as we like kind of very much um, like we made 
maybe being gay a, a more normalized thing, but then maybe we sometimes kind of make it create binary. more division divisions. And that was interesting, although it also inside the the racial context of the book, uh, which is very like present and and hard and like faced me with like also my privilege and my lack of fully understanding um, the, experience. the experience of being black in America yeah. in the 60s. Mm -hmm. um, there's a black woman and a black man in the book. Uh, all super fascinating and so human and so relatable and surprising. Wow, 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 wow. But there is something that I feel like with the black characters that there is maybe the fluidity, but it also comes with a certain, with more being take experience of being taken advantage of also. Mm -hmm. And then the, the other points of view of just like experimenting and getting confused and yeah. And also I was, I was thinking how he put himself through different characters. I couldn't help, but also think of Baldwin himself and like trying to see him through these different characters that he writes and yes. so many of them are so complex and lovable and developed and you could like uh, empathize with all of them yeah yeah like definitely a heavy read but please read it <laughs> sometimes if i'm looking at someone's like why vast Right, like, you know, body of work. I need like someone to say, that's a really great one, so read that one. Or like, yeah. I don't know, to introduce you to an author like this. There is, there is an, like an abusive relationship. Um, yes, it's definitely, it's definitely like triggering in many ways and kind of in general. In general, like sex is kind of like something that he describes a lot of the times, like using the word violence, or like is mm. like through the lens of yes, violence. Yes, even when it's love. When it's yeah, yeah. You loved it. I did love it. Are you gonna read more James Baldwin? Yes, I have a collection. What's of, the other one you have? Uh, going to meet the man. Short stories. Yes.